Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my Arsenal career mode on FIFA 20. In this episode, you're going to find out who I'm playing in the Champions League. It's, um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's not great, but also it could have been worse. So you guys will find out soon. Also, in this episode, I'm using some mods. I've decided to go for the realism mod. We are going to be using it from now on. I thought the patch that EA made to the game was actually enough. It was doing enough to make it more competitive, but actually I don't think it is. So we're using the realism mod, which means there's a couple of new things. Um, I've also got some updated player faces, like Gnabry, for example. You can see he's got the Arsenal shirt on there. Uh, Madison, who else? We've got Marlon, I think Aubameyang and Ceballos have different pictures. And Ketty has got the shirt. But the biggest thing, and this is incredible, guys. So, of course, this is why I recommend you play on PC. If I go down to Pepe, you'll know he looks rubbish in this game. Looks nothing like him. Well, guess what? I've got his face now. It's not perfect. It doesn't look perfectly like Pepe, but it is damn close. But he's looking pretty good. And I'm really excited to finally have his face in the game. It does make a massive difference. Also, the other mod I'm using is... A new camera angle, which I'm going to show you in the next game. New grass textures on the pitch. Massive shout out to the guys who have worked on these mods. And uh, you can go ahead and visit their Patreon pages and get hold of the mods early. Now, before we get into the rest of this video, this is sponsored by FotMob. I want to say a massive thank you to them. It is a fantastic app and it's the only app you need on your phone for all things football. It gives you all the latest scores, fixtures, transfers, all that good stuff. And it's free on iOS and Android. So there is a link down below. Right now, of course, the big news is Granite Xhaka with what happened yesterday. Please do check out my Operation Arsenal video because I talked about it in detail. It's uh, it's not a good time for an Arsenal fan right now. Um, coaches are not being given enough time. It's true, I guess. But there's plenty of news articles every single day. You can set notifications up so you keep yourself up to date with whatever club you support. And I fully recommend you check out the app. So thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And now let's get into the next game. Should I show you who we're playing or should I get... Let's, let's get into the game first. We're going to play against Burnley. I'm going to try out this new camera angle. And I need you guys to leave feedback down below and tell me if you think I should keep it. It's not just the grass textures that have been improved. It's the actual detail of the game itself. So you will notice a difference. It looks a lot nicer. And in general, the atmosphere in the stadium looks a bit nicer. I'm playing in the fog, I believe it is. And you can see the grass just looks a little bit different, a little bit more realistic, which is exactly what I was looking for. This is the new camera angle as well. Let me know what you think. I can move in and out. I can change the zoom. I can change how high and how low it is. Um, it, it's kind of more of a stadium feel. You know, this is like a camera angle you would see if you watched a game on TV, which uh, I really like, but it is very different. Trying to get used to it is uh, quite something. But also, it reminds me of playing Pez. You know, I did that Pez series. They have a camera angle just like this. So if you're really into that camera angle, you'll probably really like this. Here's Aubameyang. Put it into Madison. Play it back. Oh, hello. Gnabry's in. Oh my God. Get the corner in. Decent delivery. Origi plays for Burnley. What? It's a weird one. Here's Aubameyang. Nice fake shot. Across the keeper. And it's saved again. Joe Hart, of course, turns into Manuel Neuer when we play against him. Space here for Tierney to run into. The ball into Aubameyang wasn't great, but we should win it back. There we go. I really like this camera angle. It's just so different. It gives you a completely different feeling when playing the game. Here's Ceballos, who's come in for... Torreira in this game. Over to Pepe. Bad pass, but again, we should recycle the ball. I'm going to have a shot. Pepe with his left foot, and it goes flying over. Burnley on the attack now. It's a decent bit of play. Oh, God. How did I not win that ball? Oh, no. Origi's in. What a bit of defensive duty by Tierney. He saved us there. We should have conceded. And now, we could be on the break. Give it back to Gnabry. And now, Aubameyang needs to get you in behind. That could be perfect. I don't think he's going to quite get there, though. It's worth noting as well that the Realism mod does change the way the UI play a little bit. It makes them harder in general. Of course, though, Burnley, they're not going to be the same quality as this Arsenal side. So I should still be winning games like this. Or Madison. Oh, finally! Madison, again, this guy has been so good since we signed him. 
And that is one of his best goals yet. Let's have a look at the replay because the thing with this camera angle is you might not see as much of a goal as you normally do. I wasn't expecting it to go in, basically. But uh, the pass from Ceballos into space. And then he just freaking whacks it into the top left corner. That was absolutely beautiful. And we're 1-0 up with 10 minutes left in the first half. Oh, no. Oh, Leno, big save from him there. Oh, Sean Dyche isn't happy. Not happy at all. They probably should have scored here. It's a decent block. It was actually pretty much handball. Oh, what a flick. In again here with Madison. Can he make it two? No, he can't. I've missed from there. Shocking. It should be 2-0. But then again, Burnley have had their chances as well. And that will be the end of the first 45 minutes. We are winning against a pretty decent side here. But we should be doing better. Come on, Pepe, get there. Yes. Come on, son. We've got to make it 2-0 now. Do I give it to Gnabry? No. We go solo. Oh, dear. I'm going to lose this game now, aren't I? <laughs> that would be so typical, missing a chance like that and then losing. We are currently down to 10 men as Longley is injured. Oh, Bellerin. Well done. No. No. That's not fair. Longley, look, he's just, he's just recovered. He's running back. We've conceded while one of our players is down. That's really unfortunate. It's, it's a pretty well-worked goal, but we're, we're missing one of our main centre-backs, if not our best centre-back. That's so frustrating. Is he still injured? He is. Longley is injured. That's really bad news. Well, I'm going to take him off. Holding will come on. And while we're here, let's go ahead and bring in Willock. Uh, actually, no. No, no. Torreira is going to come in for Genduzzi. And we are going to bring in Marlon down that left wing. Why not? Oh, my God. Has he got through me? No. No, 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 no. <sighs> Leno again. I don't know how he made it through. There was two players on him. He just, I don't know. He just stuck it through our legs. Maybe I, d I don't know. I couldn't really see it. Thankfully, they haven't scored from the corner. And actually, if we can get some players forward, we could potentially hit them on the break here. Aubameyang's just stopped running. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, game. Make a run, Pepe. Madison was completely open, but I've passed it straight to a defender. And they're in again. No. Oh, my God. Leno's done it again. Where would I be without Leno at the moment? 3-1 down is where I would be. Got another chance, though. Oh, what a ball. What a ball to Marlon. Come on. Get into the box. Ah! Eight minutes left, guys. This is actually being one hell of a game, isn't it? Very, very close. Let's get the ball in. Go on, Marlon. Yes! Marlon heads home from the corner. And guess who gets the assist? It's Madison, of course. We don't actually deserve to be winning this game. So I'm very thankful for this goal. It could be enough to get us the three points. What a delivery that is. But the header, oh, I don't really score many headers. So when I do, I always feel very surprised. Over the top. Go on, Marlon. Go on. Please get that. Oh, my God, that was so close. He almost nicked it. But it doesn't matter, guys. We've got the three points. Burnley were actually very good. Very well played by them. But thankfully, we've managed to nick the winner there in the final 10 minutes. And we've got three points. Woohoo! You can see the stats were pretty even. That's why I love this realism mod. It is going to make it a lot more fun. You're probably wondering why I didn't do this sooner. I didn't really want to use mods just in case of stability issues and things like that. But thankfully, there isn't any issues. There isn't. So uh, it was worth it. I'm really glad we're here. Please let me know if you want me to keep this angle. I personally am really enjoying using it. I think it's amazing. It's just something completely new. So, um, yeah, let me know if you're happy with it. Of course, James Madison gets man of the match as well. He was incredible. Thankfully, the injury to Longley is not serious. I was very concerned that he could be out for the rest of the season when we've got some big, big games coming up. But no, five days, he's ready for the next game pretty much. So it turns out we've actually got a game within two days. I didn't even see it. It's uh, up against Fulham. So we are going to have to make sure that uh, Longley is fit for the next game, which is the one I thought was coming. But... Uh, he isn't ready for this one, and of course, I wouldn't use him. We are going to be resting a few players, actually, because it is such a big game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring Smithrow onto the bench as well. We've got um, Martinelli and, and Ketia, maybe. Put them on the bench. We've got Saka. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to put Saka on the right and take Nelson out. 
But Nelson can come onto the bench. Who else have we got available? We've got Medley. We could probably use him at some point. Genduzzi can stay on there. But that is the lineup we're going to use. And Fulham are really struggling this season. So it uh, should be a winnable game. Here come Fulham. I've missed my tackle. He's going to get a shot away. And Leno, of course, makes the save. We've got a corner coming in now. Saka is there to win the header, but it's not gone very far. Are they going to get another shot in? Oh, no. Oh, my God. How have they still got Seri? This guy was linked with Barcelona a couple of years ago. He's still at Fulham. Honestly, what a finish, but it was so easy for them to get through here from that corner. Just passed inside and again, and then bang. Leno's not going to save that one. Oh, dearie me. Not a good start in this one. Oh, God. They're in again. Get a tackle in. Well done, Chambers. Let's unleash Marlon. What a ball. Oh, my God. Absolute perfection. You've got to score this. Come on, Marlon. Yes, get in there. It is one all straight away. Well, not straight away, but our first attack after conceding. And it's Marlon with another goal. It's very difficult to bench him at the moment. He really is playing very well. But um, if you continue scoring, I'll put him in the team. It's quite simple, really. Let's have a look at that ball. Oh, I skipped it pretty much. Great first touch, though, which means he can get up to speed. And he's got it around the keeper. Very nice. Here's Willock now. Going to try and find Saka. No, actually, we're going to turn. Play it back to Maitland-Niles. Into Torreira. Back to Willock. Good play, this. Hits it across the keeper. Oh, my God. Last chance here for Fulham. The ball comes in. Oh, my God. It came off the bar and it hit Leno's arse and bounced in. I mean, that's bad luck. <laughs> that really is bad luck. The cross shouldn't be coming in. I should be doing better defensively. I don't know where Kolasinach was. And to be fair, Chambers needed to win that header. It's going to be a Leno own goal right before the break. The referee's literally going to blow his whistle right away. Oh, man, that's disappointing. Here we go. Get a goal back straight away. Go on, Willock, son. Finish it. Finish it. The rebound. Oh, my God. First attack of the second half. Should be two all. Oh, go on, Saka. Please be a good first touch. Very good. Got to do something here, though. Come on. Keep going. Hit it. Go on. Yes. Get in there. Saka with his first goal in quite some time, it feels like. And it's two all with, what, 20 minutes to go? We can do this. We can win. Really, really good time to score because it gives us a chance to make some subs now and hit them when we've got momentum. That's a really good goal as well. How tired are my players? They're not doing too bad. I think we're going to take Mate and Nars out and bring in Genduzi. Swap him with Torreira. I like Genduzi on the left of midfield. I don't know why. We're going to go with Nelson as well on that right wing because uh, Saka, really good goal, but otherwise hasn't really done much. And I'm thinking maybe Smith Rowe. Yeah, why not? You already know I'm going to score again. Come on. Let's go. Nice from Nelson. Oh, lovely play. Oh, it is absolutely special. Fantastic way to get ahead in this game. And now we can just hopefully keep a clean sheet for the next 10, 15 minutes. All right. No goals conceded and we will win this game. Simple as that. Lovely 1-2 here with Nelson and Lacazette. Fulham defence didn't know what to do. This is it for Fulham. They have to do something now if they want to get a point. Blow the whistle, ref, please. Oh, what? What? Oh, thought I gave away a free kick, but he's blown the whistle there. Fantastic result once again. Not convincing, but we've still got the job done. Well, now it's time for the Champions League, and you guys are about to find out who we are playing against. It is... Tottenham. The quarterfinals of the Champions League, Tottenham. I mean, it's better than it being the final. It's better than it being the semi-final. I will take it. I will take it. Because just imagine the embarrassment of potentially losing a final in the Champions League against Spurs. So, um, yeah, it's, it's still not great considering there's some other teams that we probably could have got instead, like Valencia, Milan. I, I would have even taken maybe Atletico... But Spurs, it is what it is. We will be facing them twice in the next few weeks. One leg at home and then obviously one leg away from home at their new stadium. Um, 
yeah, it is it is what it is. We've got long laid back, which is good. But we're going to go ahead and do the press conference you, now. Kolasinac is in good form. Now. Will we see more of him today? Um, rotation is key. Absolutely. Do you think Tottenham Hotspur has a chance to go to the next round? Of course they have a chance. But we won't let the fans down. We will give it our all. We will try and slap them at home so the second leg isn't too stressful. Um, will it affect our strategy, how close it was before? Will the outcome of the last match affect the strategy? Um, a close call is a learning opportunity. The other two options weren't that great. But let's go ahead and put the team together now. I think I'm going to go with Aubameyang in this one. I'm going to go with Gnabry because we know how good he is against Tottenham. Pepe comes back in on the right. Torreira, Ganduzi, and Madison as our midfield three. I think that's what we're going to go with. Then Bellerin, Saliba, Longley, Tierney, and Leno. I think I'm happy with that. Should I make any changes to the bench? No, I don't think so. Okay, this is it. This is the team. And just so we don't get the annoying, stupid comments. You know, if I do win a tough game, everyone's like, oh, why did you change difficulty? You can clearly see it here. Five minutes, clear, ultimate difficulty, play match. Okay. There's no cheating going on in this series. I absolutely despise it when I get accused of cheating. Everyone was saying, well, not everyone, a small minority of people were saying in the last episode that when I beat Bayern after losing against Brentford, I think it was, that I clearly changed the difficulty. Do you not think that maybe sometimes when you're coming up against a strong team, you just play better because you're, you're performing better. You have to perform better. You're forced to. Up against Brentford, I played a weaker side and I, I guess I just didn't take it as seriously. It can happen, you know doesn't always mean I'm cheating, okay? I'm not cheating. Anyway, I don't know why I have to explain myself. It does get me down when I get comments like that. So um, I've shown it to you this time. And I would show it every single game if I absolutely had to. But I shouldn't need to do that. You guys know I'm 100% honest, okay? Every single game is on ultimate difficulty. Simple as that. There, there'll be no cheating whatsoever. If I get knocked out, I get knocked out. It's just the way it is. But here we are, back in the Champions League at the Emirates Stadium. In the top right corner, that's part of the mod, by the way. I am going to ask to see if I can have it removed. I don't really want Fox Sports in the top right corner. Um, but it might be that he can't uh, make a separate mod just for me. We'll, we'll see. I'll ask him after I've finished recording this. But uh, if you're wondering why it's there, it's because it's part of the grass textures and details mod. He's just added it in there. So... Um, yeah, the other games look tasty. I think I'm expecting Juventus to go through um, in the other tie that's being played right now. And uh, let's have a look at this Tottenham lineup. Okay, I accidentally skipped it. They've got Kane, Eriksen, Son. They've got. It's the same lineup as every time we play against them. They've got um, Corona on the right. His name's weird in this game. It's like. I don't know. Looks like they've got Ndombele and. I think that's the Celso. No, it's Winks, isn't it? Winks in midfield, and then their usual defence, Lloris in goal. Come on, Arsenal. Big game, this. A yellow card already? I mean, come on. Yeah, it's a foul, but where's where's a warning? Getting a yellow card within six minutes, that's a little bit unfair, I would say. Oh, no. Oof. That shot was going to have a lot of power on it, a lot of venom. So, of course, the main danger is Harry Kane. Eriksen behind him is always going to be a problem as well. But uh, I'm looking to at least get two goals in this game. I think that could be enough. Oh, go on. No. Aubameyang would have been through. No. I've lost it in a bad area. The good thing about Harry Kane is he's not the quickest. But when, when balls come into the box, anything loose, he can just smash it in. His finishing is unreal. His son now. Saliba trying to get back. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, my God. Tierney. No. Don't head it straight out to a Dombele. Let's give it to Gnabry. Hopefully he can show us some magic today up against uh, Tottenham. You saw what he did a couple of weeks back in the Champions League in real life. Tierney's nutmegged his, uh, the defender there, but couldn't quite keep the ball. Here we go. Go on, Aubameyang. Finesse. Ooh, it wasn't bad. Almost caught Lloris off guard there. Come on, Pepe. Come on. Do something for me. Why not? Why not? Oh, just got a little bit of a push there. I think not really enough to be a foul, but it definitely took him away from the ball enough to lose that momentum he had running through. We've got a few minutes left here until the break. And I've got to say, it has been a very close game. No team really looks dangerous enough to score the first goal. 
Oh, what a ball. Nice Bellerin. Can we get a run, Aubameyang, maybe? Still going here with Gnabry into Aubameyang. Into Madison. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'll be so happy if we can score here. Into Aubameyang. Yes, he's in. No. Larice with an incredible save. Just about keeps it nil-nil. I was saying how close this game was. It really was. But that was the real first opportunity we've had. And we should have buried it. Oh, here we go. Lovely from Aubameyang into Gnabry. Drive it into the box. Good ball, but it's not enough to get to Pepe. And Spurs survive again. Time for Pepe to run through now. Over to Bellerin. He's in space and he's onside. Go back post for Genduzi. Rebound someone. Nope. Again, Spurs are just getting away with it. All the pressure is on them right now. See if we can get a pass inside to Genduzi. Here we go. Into Aubameyang now. First touch. Oh, almost knocked it around the defender there. Genduzi is absolutely exhausted. Cross comes in. Leno punches it. I think we are due to make a substitution very soon. Genduzi probably will have to come off. Into Aubameyang. Back to Madison. Into Gnabry. Oh, gosh. A lot of my players just feel a little bit slow at the moment. We've still got 30 minutes left as well. Lacazette is going to come on here for uh, Aubameyang. And we're also going to bring in Ceballos for Genduzi. So two fresh legs. Still got an extra sub if we need it. I didn't want to use all three in the same time. And let's see if we've got something going here maybe. Torreira to Lacazette. His first touch. In for Pepe. Go on that left foot. Oh, I've just ran straight into trouble. We've got it back. See if we can do something this time. There's Madison in space. Pepe's come back on side. Back into Madison. Good turn. Very good. Near post. Ah, man. Another chance here. Lacazette this time. To Pepe. Into the box. Madison. Yes! No! It's offside. Oh, I can't believe it. From cloud nine to cloud zero instantly. Oh, it's so close. Look at that. He is offside. It is the correct decision, but I'm absolutely gutted. I thought that was it. A 1-0 victory would be so good here. No away goals conceded is absolutely vital in the Champions League knockout stages because you can then go to their stadium and hopefully just nick a goal and then they need two. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is bad. This is really bad. And Dombele. Oh, good save by Leno. Tottenham have been very quiet in this second half. So um, they've certainly upped a gear. We could try and get Pepe in behind here. Go. Please, please work. Please. Yes. It works so often. Go on, Pepe. He's still going. Please. Oh, my God. So close. No. What have I done? I've just given it straight back. This is it, guys. The final moment. Pepe into... What? Oh, my God. I was just about to pass it to Gnabry and just push forward. But the referee has ended it there. A nil-nil isn't a terrible result. We can take that to their stadium knowing that one goal could be enough. They would need to score two to go through. So that will be the aim in the second leg. A nil-nil draw, man. I can't believe that. Really good game, though. How do you rate you chances to qualify? <laughs> Um, uh, we'll clinch it on the away ground. We will. I'm sure of it. We'll beat Tottenham. We have to. Despite the team being unable to snatch a win, how was it to see Longley back in action? That was good, actually. Um, his desire to play football is an example. Or getting him back is a win. Yeah, that, that is true. He is arguably our best player and one of our most important players. He's so good at the back. And here is the typical Kolasinac question. Would it have helped if he played? No. Tierney was really good. He got a yellow card earlier on, which didn't help. But um, he can prove me wrong or I'm fully responsible, I guess. It's just a rubbish question, really. See, now another great thing about this mod. I think it's the realism mod that has it. You've got the Juventus licensing. So they've got their kit and their name and their badge, which is cool. But um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We will have Leicester next. And we're one point behind Liverpool at the top there. Where are Leicester? So they're in 10th, which is pretty ridiculous. So um, we've got that to look forward to. It's a big game away from home. 
And then, of course, it's the second leg against Tottenham. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave your feedback down below about the camera because I get it. When you're watching, it can be very different to playing. Personally, I'm in favour of using this camera angle. I think it's absolutely brilliant fun. It really is fantastic. So um, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it too. So please do leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode very soon.